Montreal is really known for their brunch. So when you go there, you have to try it. I'm going to give you three different options. We're going to go review them and let's find out which one's the best option for you to go to when you're visiting Montreal. We're going to Remiac right now. I'm probably butchering the name. I'm going there right now. Look at this interior. It's so cute. It's like little cafe vibes. I love it. And got a cappuccino. And they brought some, what looks like some house made jams. So with your meal, they also give you bread and the bread looks fantastic. The crust is so crisp on the outside and it looks like they buttered it up super nice before putting it in the oven. And now I got it with some of that homemade jam. It smells like apricot. The apricot tastes nicely, like not too sweet, which I really like. You get the flavor of the actual fruit. And then the bread, crunchy, crispy, delicious. Um, I'm glad that it's not like stale and like super hard because this is a type of bread already that has a hard crust on the outside. So it's nice and like moist on the inside, which I really love. This next one, the raspberry jam, I think. It smells like raspberry. That's my favorite one. Raspberry tastes so good. It's like fresh, you even see like the little bits of like seeds and like pieces of the berry in it. Fantastic jams. Really puts the breakfast all together really well. So mine comes with so much stuff, there's no region platter. I'm gonna try everything one by one and then put them all together too. So some nice shrimp. Mm. Nice and sweet, really refreshing. I love that. It's like a cucumber salad with some type of dressing on it. It's a really light and creamy sauce. I try this small little egg with some caviar on top. Taste of caviar can't be beat, gotta love it. And some smoked salmon. The texture's like silky smooth. I don't actually know if this is salmon, it might be another fish. But it's smoked really nicely. There's a you like really get that smokiness out of the out of the fish and then the texture is great i don't know what more i can say also came with some nicely buttered bread the bread itself has a nice taste the butter just complements it really nice now it's time to put it all together so i got my sandwich put all three of those lovely things together It's so good. That's such a nice way to start the morning with delicious breakfast. And all, all the things individually, great. Together, amazing. So you guys have to try this plate out. It's also beets, lovely. It's like a, almost like a, I feel like it's almost pickled in a way. It has like a, that pickled like sourness to it. Beets pack such a punch and a pickledness. Just like perfectly ripe, not too sour. And it's just like, yeah, giant pop flavor. I've absolutely completely wiped out my plate because it's that good. I love this sauce here. It's like a bit of dill, some cream with the cucumber. Shrimp was amazing. Everything put together, absolutely fantastic. You guys should have to try this one. This is their French toast with bananas, chocolate sauce, and obviously maple syrup. Us Canadians. The bread's so fluffy and soft. Oh my god. Ah. Look at the inside of this bread. Looks so delicious. Got all of the French toast. Oh my god. That bread, so fluffy. Pretty much like melting your mouth when you eat it. Got a nice like caramelized crust on the outside of the bread. Maple syrup, fantastic, can't ever go wrong. And freshly cut bananas on top to make it seem a little bit healthier. Add that banana flavor. Honestly, this, this French toast knocks it out of the park. They done a fucking fantastic job. All right, so we finished at Lemiac, and honestly, it was an amazing brunch spot. Holy, like I'm really impressed by it. Um, it's better than the one like most of the ones that we had in Vancouver so actually check out that video I'll link it up here somewhere but um, 
yeah, it's better than most of them. Maybe not Cafe Medina because I like savory things, but everything that they had, the Norwegian platter, the French toast, all were super, super good. And honestly, I can't get enough of it. I could eat those again and again every morning for brunch. Like, it's that good. So if you guys are ever here in Montreal, you guys should definitely check it out. It's totally worth the time. Totally worth the time and money. So the second brunch place is Le Passe Composé. And we ordered a lot of stuff here, a lot. I got the Parisian grilled cheese. Damn, look at that toast. So crisp and thick. Melted cheese on this Parisian grilled cheese. Super thick cut of ham. Holy. Some nicely fried up fries. That honestly was really great. It was really fantastic. The flavors were really there. Um, very savory, but at the same time, it was very heavy. That's just one complaint that I have is like everything there was extremely heavy. The bread was also extremely crunchy. So when it came down to cutting the sandwich and trying to bite into it, it just like cuts the top of your mouth open and that's not a that's not a fun time although the flavors were delicious another thing we got there was the maritime poached egg it's bread poached eggs with a clam chowder and some trout so it's almost like a soup dish and for this one i actually preferred if there was no bread in it if it was just like a poached egg with the clam chowder and trout it would have been so delicious that would have been really good for me but the bread itself was a little dry and it didn't really seem to have that big of a, like a great place within the dish. I feel like they almost put it there because it's a brunch or breakfast dish and, but you didn't need it. The clam chowder was delicious enough. The trout was delicious and the poached egg was great. So why even put the bread in there? It seemed a little unnecessary. So one of our friends got the authentic grilled cheese and that's pretty much the same as my Parisian, but it came with a lot of prosciutto and I've never seen prosciutto used like that before. That thick a slice of prosciutto, like it was just stacked layers, like five, six layers of prosciutto. And prosciutto by itself is extremely salty, like extremely salty. But because it's so thinly sliced, it tastes really good in small amounts or when you eat it with other things. But for them to put that much prosciutto, it was salty beyond belief. Like every bite you have to take a full drink of water like you need to down your entire glass and it became really hard to eat after the first couple bites and here's the thing I only tasted that dish I only had like a slice or two and I already thought it was too salty so like imagine trying to eat the entire thing yourself it's like nearly impossible it's way 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 too salty last we have the passe composé french toast so panko covered french toast with some berries and maple syrup this honestly tasted great the panko lightly crusted, the bread was still moist in the middle, syrup you never can go wrong, and the fruits were fresh. So this as like a finishing dish was fantastic. You can order this for sure for brunch and really enjoy it. It's like, the funny thing is, it's not even as heavy as the other dishes. It's actually quite light because the panko crust is not a heavy crust on the French toast. So all in all, I say Le Passe Composé is pretty good place to go. The flavors are there. Just maybe stay away from the authentic because you're gonna die from the amount of salt that's in there. Everything else there was pretty good. Th that maritime poached egg, that clam chowder part of it, very, very delicious and I love that. And now let's move on to the next one. We got bagels from Saint Via Terre Bagel. Might be butchering that. So here we ordered the traditional and the smoked meat. So traditional with smoked salmon, onions, tomato, and capers, sour cream, and smoked meat sandwich. You probably know what that is. I've got to say though, they don't put enough filling in there, especially the traditional. There's like barely any smoked salmon and that really like irked me. I expect if I'm getting a sandwich with smoked, smoked salmon, there's a lot of it because I love it, obviously. But you still need to give me like a hefty amount so it's more of a sandwich and I'm not just eating like straight bagel. The smoked meat was a bit better, had more meat in it, but the flavors of both of the sandwiches somewhat disappointed me. I didn't think it was that special, but the bagel alone tastes really great. So one other thing that I gotta say about this place is that you gotta wait a really long time sometimes. I think we went around like one o'clock in the afternoon. We lined up for at least like 30 to 45 minutes just to get these sandwiches, which is a very long time to wait for a bagel. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't think it's worth it. If you wanna just have Montreal bagels and eat them, 
you can actually just walk straight in. You don't have to line up. You can walk straight in and just buy the bagels and leave. But if you're looking for sandwiches, it takes forever. If that's what you're there for, definitely not worth it. Just get a bagel, leave, or do something else. It's not worth that wait time of like 30 to 45 minutes for the sandwich. So out of the three options, Lemiac, Le Passe Composé, Saint Viateur Bagel, I think the obvious best one is Lemiac. They got nothing wrong when I went there. Nothing. The food was fantastic all around, no matter what they gave me. It was really delicious, really well done. The Passe Composé, they're just like, it's super, super heavy. Everything they got is really heavy. And there are things there that I didn't really particularly like. And then the bagel was just like pure disappointment, not enough filling, the flavors weren't there. Um, there's nothing special about the toppings that they put into this bagel. The bagel itself is good, but the sandwich, not that great. So if you're gonna go and get brunch in Montreal, check out Lemiac. It's the best one. I think it beats some of the ones that I went to in Vancouver and definitely beats any of the brunch here in Toronto. So that's my favorite. I would love to hear comments down below. So write them there and let's have a debate of which is the best brunch place there. But thanks for watching the video. Smash that like button, sub to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.